Well, today I got a nice little uh, gift came in the mail and I'm really excited to get, get this unpacked and get going. So let's uh, hit the intro and uh, let's unbox this sucker. All right, I already cut the big box open in the the first inner box, which has an R. But, uh, without further ado, I'm not even in. Uh, here it is. LED tube smoked tail lights for the ninth gen Impala. This one I will be unboxing. Couldn't contain the excitement when the package arrived. I had to dive in. Alright, here's the left one. I think I'm going to hit him with some. Uh, turtle wax uh, ceramic uh, coating before I put them on the car. Let's get a real good look here. They got the black on the inside. They say these are smoked lenses. I mean, they have a very, very small amount of tint on them. I don't know. I think they look sick. They're going to match my headlights real nice. They look a little, yeah, here's where you can tell they're smoked, just by contrast to the headlights there. Yeah, that is going to look awesome. Just a simple, you should pop right out and yeah, don't lose them. Maybe hold on to these two little plugs here. Yeah, I keep dropping the shit. No wonder I had, only had one in my other car. So then this thing should just lift right out. Set it aside. Now, there's three little wing nuts. This first one here, you might have a, if you have a net, unhook your net. And this one here needs to come out first before you pull the carpet back. This one's gonna be different. This one has the, uh, this one has the hook. For your cargo net. The other two do not. So now that that's out of the way, you can uh, pull the trunk carpet back. Uh, I'll get a light here. Here's your second one here, and your third one is, oh, it's back, it's right here, right here, right here. Just take them loose. 
and do not lose them, of course. See how these don't have the... Let's compare. This one here goes on your outer one, your outermost one here, because that's for your cargo net. Now that you got those out, this should just come straight out. Now, you're, I have these, oh come on, get in frame here. These are my wires for my backup camera, but you are going to need to reuse this whole harness. So, first things first, damn, I'm just not in frame here. Just unplug the, unplug your connector here. Um, so now we're going to take this harness off of the tail light. Um, here's another thing. Um, your reverse lamps are going to stay, but these other two you take out. You're going to take the lamps out. What I opted here, I'll get to it in a second. I bought some LED reverse lamps that I'm going to be throwing in here. So I'll go do that real quick. So these are the, uh, Reverse lamps I got. 3157s. I'm going to, of course, as always, link to these in the uh, description. Let's see what we got here. I'm not sure if these are polarity sensitive. sensitive. We might have to check on that. But they have the LEDs all around the perimeter, and then you got a big lens there. That's pretty cool. So let's uh, let's get the old one or put the new one to the side here. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the, the old one apart. Twist and pull, and you're gonna want to unclip this here. There's a clip right here. You might need a screwdriver to get that off. Gonna take a BF screwdriver and let's see. Oh, piece of cake. Take that off and take that out. So this one on the bottom is your reverse light. Um, yeah, I was sold a bill of goods here, man. This is the wrong. Oh, Christ, <laughs> I feel stupid now. Yeah, I looked up Impala reverse lights and they said it was a 3157, so I got the wrong reverse light. So, I'm going to go ahead and scratch that. I'm going to use these for something else. I mean, the 3157s work for the tail lights. Ah, Jesus Christ. Well, I guess I'm going to have to buy some, whatever the hell. Eh, I got to go back and look. Fucking Rock Auto told me they were 3157s. Well, anyway, we'll uh, not do that this time then. So we'll just yank the yank that one out and yank this one out, and I'll keep the damn incandescent. So now you notice this tail light has no provision to clip this harness anywhere. But what you do? Oh, these are taped together. Pull, tear the tape off. And this one goes here. And this one goes here. And I'm really not sure if they're polarity sensitive. We're going to have to check that. Yeah, this one's a little difficult to get in there. There we go. Okay. So then you're just going to push these back in here and find the proper orientation. Which I have no idea I'm really struggling with here. I feel like this, I think. 
Yes, that's how they go. Oh, shit. I don't like how that wire is. This one should be easier because it's just a two-pronger. Yeah, okay. And my incandescent reverse lamp. Jesus Christ. I'll go get the order the proper one. And there we go. And there's nowhere for this to hook up, so. Or nowhere for this clip to go. I mean, me, no, it won't go there. Okay, we'll just leave it hanging. All right, I'm just gonna cut in here from two days in the future. I uh, returned those other lamps to Amazon, and ordered these, and they sent them out to me. It took two days to get them. So here's the correct backup light, uh, lights. They're uh, 921s, about the same brand. They look the exact same. They just uh, package a little bit differently. Obviously they have the correct connector. So you're just gonna see me after this, I'm gonna, you'll see me installing this light with the incandescence, and then I'm gonna come back in and uh, in the future and show what the reverse lights look like. Uh, oh, I got the front all dirty. Dang, I'm gonna have to wipe this off now. So we're just gonna try to fit this sucker and let's just see what she does. Just gonna hit the remote and see what happens here. Oh man. That is sick. Compare it to the That is sick. That looks nice. So when I get the proper uh, LED reverse lamp, it's not a 3157. I got some glare going there. A lot of glare. Sorry, the sun's going down. And Wow, just look how they're so much quicker to respond. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to need those LED reverse lights because, man, those look dim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those incandescents are way brighter in the stock housings. Well, I'm gonna repeat the procedure for the other side. All right, let's check it out. I obviously haven't uh, snugged them up yet, but 
God damn, those look fucking... I don't think this camera is really doing justice how these things look. I don't know if you can tell, I peeled the dip off here so you can see the chrome around the bow tie. It's just a little subtle. And I shaved the emblems. Just man. I dipped my wheels black. Uh, I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna get some vinyl tape to go over the, the chrome trim on the side. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these door handles yet. I mean, I've seen they sell overlay covers that you can either, well, like they sell the all chrome or the chrome with a little vinyl in the center, or they got black ones with a thing in the center that matches the body. And I don't know, might do those, but they're, they're like 75 bucks. Might just leave the door handles chrome. I think I'm going to leave the front grill chrome too. So maybe that'll just be the little little bit of chrome that I leave on here. Well, I just want to give you a little update cuz uh my excitement was a little curtailed when I saw the lights weren't they were a little too far away from the body, so I managed, I took this out and it looks like they're, they're screwed in. I'm going to cut this flange down just a little bit to suck this in and maybe I can get the tail light to pull in a little more. The right side, I think I'm going to do the same thing too because that one, it's not as bad, but I can still notice it. I think I might just do this one up here too. I just took a vice grips and put them on the the very end and I was able to spin it out. I mean, you can just see it's, it's a, what do you want to call it? Machine screw, not a machine screw, uh, whatever. It's got its own little cutter. So I think if I just snip a little bit of that off and then I can, I can adjust this in and out too to get it to fit proper. Yeah, I just noticed this little clip here wasn't really catching behind the fender. There's another one. Oh, maybe that. Yeah, right here. Well, anyway, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do that. See if I can get them fitting snugly. My other thought was, like maybe I need some weather strip around here. But the stock one. Oh, the stock one does. Oh shit! I never even noticed. Oh yeah. I might have to transfer this over because the new one does not have it. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Oh, shit, it's not even... I don't know if it's <laughs> worth saving. But yeah, the stock's got some weather strip on it, and this one does not. Okay. Well, I'm going to put some weather strip on there, too, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to do that first and cut this down and see where we're at. I knew there was going to be some kind of a catch, but they look fucking cool anyway. Just while I have that other one apart, I'll show you. I have this one all the way in. And there's a big gap right there. I mean, if I put some weather strip on there, I still would need to pull it in a little bit more. That's my only critique. But I guess, what else do you expect from a $160 pair of... Chinese actually they're Taiwanese made in Taiwan can't blame it on China this time but you know I'll keep the stockers all right so I went ahead and uh, trimmed down them tabs and now just for consistency's sake I'm sure y'all can figure out how to <laughs> install these wing nuts but uh, just remember these go on the two back ones. Yeah, it's getting dark out. I got my light out. We'll just uh, show you how these fit a lot better now that I trim them. Trimmed out like a little hair off of those uh, mounting points. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's falling, sorry. One there, one there, and then that one goes in after you put the carpet back. Damn it, it stays down. All right, much better. I still want to put a little weather strip on here, but the, the gap is consistent now. It lines up down here real nice. So, I got the got all the thumb screws in on both sides. So, let's see if the camera picks this up. You just drop this back in. Line up the tabs. Boom. And then one there, one here. Button up your tools. Closed trunk. Admire results. getting dark out now so I can shut these lights off. I'm going to shut the garage lights off. Oh, that one. What happened here? Oh, I think the backup light got knocked out. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, good lord. Well, I gotta redo that one now. Too much glare from the camera. Just trust me when I say, looking at it with the, the naked eye, these are sick. They almost remind me of the uh, 70s Monte Carlo style taillights, in a way. Wow, that license plate light <laughs> is foobar with that backup camera. Wow. So now I need to find the correct LED backup lights, and I'm thinking LED parking lights, parking signal lights, and the side marker lights. So on these lights, um, I trimmed the two, these two, to begin with, and I noticed this third one. Actually, no, this one and this one are the ones I trimmed. I ended up trimming this one again because I noticed it was protruding out from the trunk a little bit. And then on one side, I noticed the holes had been enlarged, or they looked larger than the other side, so I drilled them out a little larger just to get these to fit better. And I went ahead... I'm going to put a little uh, plumber's putty around these. It looks like the gaskets were hitting, but I, I don't want to take any chances. I just want to make sure they're watertight. And I also, I got some weather strip here. I'm just going to cut a strip or two. I don't know how flexible this stuff is, and I'm just going to run it 
on this edge so it matches the factory tail lamp. Well, got a little thin thing of weather strip on here. We'll see what it does, if anything. I might have to add a second layer. Stuff might be too thin. All right, that is beautiful now. That weather strip just hits. It's perfect. So I had to trim all three of those tabs, and now it's lines up with the trunk perfectly. So that was the trick to it. Now they fit. So some trimming is required on these lights to get them to work right. Let's see if I can get the backup lights to flash. Oh, wow. And there's the incandescent, whoa. Well, I'm gonna get that other one in. All right, let's have one last look at them. That's with the LED backup lights. I got the uh, fitment down. It's like I said, you gotta uh, trim, trim those tabs a little bit. But uh, what do y'all think? Okay, here's one last look with the LED reverse lights now. They're showing up blue on the camera, but they are very, very bright white. trick there all right thanks for uh, checking out my video this brand was called a akon a k k o n and there's another brand that's a c a n i i they're the same same exact tail lights i think they cost the same too they're cheaper on amazon right now they were 159 as of this recording that's what i paid i've seen them as high as 179 we'll see where they are I don't even know how long they'll be making these. These are like the newest style ones. They had another style that just had one LED tube in it, and those are discontinued now. But, uh, yeah, thanks for checking me out. Um, be sure, please, be sure you like the video. Keeps my channel going. That's how I'm able to do videos on stuff like this. I appreciate each and every one of you for subscribing. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Deuces.